I was lucky enough to see Deepak Chopra speak a couple of weeks ago. And he was commenting and reflecting on how ridiculous it is that we identify with our body. Because what body is it that we're identifying with? You know, is it the fertilized egg? Is it the zygote? Is it the embryo, the fetus, the baby, the toddler, the child, the adolescent, the adult? Like our body is constantly changing. We are not our body. Yes, we have a body, but that body itself, the cells are regenerating every day and it's radically different, you know, every year. So our body is here to house our consciousness and our body allows us to perceive the world through all of our sense organs, to be able to see and smell and taste and feel and hear even emotions, they're just sensations in the body too. It's all just sensations which are arising in our awareness. And then we're not our mind either. You know, our mind is constantly trying to make meaning out of everything, to find reasons and make assumptions and create stories for why things are happening out there in the world. But we end up living in these stories in our mind, reminiscing on memories from the past, imagining a future that isn't, instead of just living here and now with the sensations that we are actually experiencing in the moment, moment by moment. So what if we could identify with our consciousness itself, you know, just our pure awareness, our pure presence, and that, that consciousness, it's timeless. It doesn't age. It was the same when we were that zygote, that baby, that toddler, that adult, the one now. That's what's always there, that witness. And we get to tap into that timeless presence every time we meditate, every time we shut our eyes and we settle the nervous system. You know, we find we have moments where we witness that timeless presence, that pure essence inside of us. And that it doesn't age and it's here always. So yeah, let's see if we can really start to identify with that as us.